Today, we are thinking about John, uh, the, that pillar that is John, that we discover in the epistles of John, 1st, 2nd, and 3rd John. John pronounces a great call to love one another. John wants people to love one another, to, to treat each other with honor and dignity. Love is how we treat one another, and not necessarily just feelings, according to John. Love is unselfish and puts others before oneself. And this is a concept that's very controversial in, in the modern world, especially in, in therapy and psychology. Uh, we see that abuse and addiction use this idea to maintain the abuse and addiction. Uh, but we also know that the best way to help someone with, in, in these struggles is to withhold love, to help that self-discovery that's so necessary, which I think John would agree is an act of love itself. Uh, if he had had access to modern psychology and its insights. John envisions everyone putting each other's interests ahead of their own, which does not happen in real existence. And so we must walk into this idea to love one another fully and with a bit of caution that we may not be loved fully. Uh, keeping the Torah, the law, the commandments is a way of loving one another. First love and then do as you please, if you will. The question is, can a community exist without the Holy Spirit? And, and that is answered, of course, with love. The, the idea, you can see that love is so huge in this story that John is, is sharing with us. A real love is unselfish, and, uh, uh, but a real love is unselfish, but humanity loves easily in selfishness or self-destruction. The Holy Spirit is needed to maintain Christian communities for this reason. Uh, in fact, the acts of selfishness and self-destruction are more obvious in a Christian community, uh, which is why people say things like, I, I sh shouldn't the church know better, or I can't believe a Christian would say or do that, or, or that's not very Christian-like behavior. The problem is not that it happens, but that it is more obvious, like, like a, a black ink against a white canvas. It's very obvious that it's there or white ink against a black canvas. It's very obvious that it's there. They're contrasting colors, right? Um, but if you remember, I said that John was all about the story, and the story is about love. God is love, and so the story is love, according to John. In fact, God is love, and it is stated only twice in the Bible, uh, and both occur in this letter, by, uh, letter of First John, written by John. We know that God is loving and loves, but to be love itself is more than the act of something. God is love and lover and loving. Love is not lover and lover is not loving and love is not loving and lover is not love. But love is lover and loving, love is loving and loving is lover and lover is loving. Love cannot be lover without loving, and lover cannot be love without loving, and loving cannot be lover without love. They are all one, for love is love, but love is not the individual, lover, lover and loving. St. Augustine grabs this same idea to express the Trinity, and you can hear that Trinity concept to it, that the Father is not the Son, and the Son is not the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit is not the Father. But the Father is the Son, and the Son is the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit is the Son. But not in the way that the Son is the Father, and the Father is the Son. It all kind of mixes together. Uh, in that same concept that binds us to this idea of relationships. And that's what love is. That's what God is. But it's an idea that's more than just the love itself. It's more than, uh, like we think that, that light is more, that God is light, but is more than light. And God is justice, but more than justice. John talks about how we are at one with God, or atonement. Uh, he also digs into this idea of sin and the conflict of sinlessness. And finally, John emphasizes the humanity of Christ. Uh, it's easy to focus on Jesus Christ as God, but it can be more difficult to think of Jesus as human. Uh, all the stuff you do and struggle with, Jesus probably struggled with as well. Uh, the funniest one that I hear often from people saying is, is that uh, Jesus was born potty trained, which is just hilarious, at least to me. Uh, Jesus, of course, Jesus, of course, had to learn many things. He has two natures, 100% God and 100% human. They are not on the same ruler. They are not on the same scale. And so they can both be 100% and not be in conflict with each other. 